welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a new video. Today's video is going to be a haul. I feel like I haven't done a haul in the longest time. I haven't really been buying anything to be honest. I had anything to show you guys. However, I have, right, let's just say, recently I did a huge wardrobe clean out, as in huge. I have got rid of so much stuff. Um, I sell all my stuff on a company called eBloggers. I will link that down below because loads of new stuff gets added on there that I've sent all the time. Um, so I did a huge clear out. I filled three massive bags to send to them. And I just had like a big rejig of my wardrobe. And I also, on the back of that, invested in some more coats. Now, I'm obsessed with coats. My biggest thing that I've got in my wardrobe is coats. I'm, I'm a very basic girl. I like wearing black leggings and a black top or a black hoodie with nice coats. Like I think coats are such a key wardrobe piece to styling up a whole outfit and making outfits completely different. Even just with the most basic of outfits being black leggings and a black vest top, I feel like a coat really does just add a huge element to it. Um, so I have invested in some new coats and I thought it would be the perfect time to show you because it is absolutely freezing outside. The reason I've chose to show you all these coats now and didn't do it earlier on in the season is because I honestly was really struggling to find like key coats that I wanted. For example, like a really nice black formal coat. I could not find anywhere. I've now found one. I wanted a camel oversized coat. I've now found one. So quite a lot of the things that I've been looking for, I've found basically in one big shop. Um, everything is everything. Everything in today's haul, apart from one thing, is from ASOS. And one item is from the Zara sale, but I thought I would include it because I absolutely love it. So, as always, everything will be linked in the description down below, and without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, actually, before we start, let me just address something in case you see it on the screen. I think I'm covering it, however, if you can see there, we've got some paint samples. We are renovating our living room, so we've just put paint samples on the wall, and I wanted to film here because it's really bright and airy, and I like the prints. Um... But yeah, we've got a few samples on the wall, so if they do pop out, just ignore them, okay? However, we have chose, we're going to go for this colour. You can't really see it because it's basically nearly white, but you know, we move. Anyway, into the haul. Okay, first up, we have got this stunning camel brushed oversized double breasted coat. This is what I was talking about when I said that I've been looking all over for a coat like this with the exact oversized fit I wanted, the right length, and I finally... Found it, of course, this is from ASOS. I got it in a size 10 and it was, how much was this? So this is actually in the sale for £56.25. Very precise, however, it was originally £75. Um, honestly, such good quality, really thick. You'll see on the try-ons the kind of fit it is, but it's got really big oversized sleeves, a nice droop shoulder and lovely tortoise shell buttons. I love the huge pockets on this. I just love the boyfriend fit of it, how it's so, it kind of just falls off here. Um, I think stuff like this just look stunning with a big hoodie underneath, leather leggings and some chunky trainers. It's like such an effortless but chic outfit. Um, and also when it first came, I don't know if you can see on camera, but it's very like fluffy. I was scared that this was gonna get all over like black leggings and things. However, I haven't had that experience at all yet. I've tried it on with all black outfits and never had that issue. I feel like this is the type of coat which I'll gravitate towards to just throw on all the time, even over a dressy outfit when you need something in the winter to keep you warm, but also it still look quite formal and put together. I just, honestly, this is like my dream coat. I've been looking for one like this for so long and I'm so glad I finally got one in my wardrobe. Okay, next up, I actually feel like I need to stop living by this mall because it gets me to spend a lot more money than I need to. But if you like something in one colour, get it in another colour. Honestly, I had to get the grey. I had to because the fit of it is just so nice. And again, a grey coat is something that I've been looking for for so long. I used to have a really nice one from Topshop, um, but it was just so worn and weathered that I got rid of it. Um, and I could never find one that was quite the same and it used to break my heart on the daily nice and dramatic as always. This one, I mean, it's literally the exact same as the camel, um, but it's a really nice light grey colour. The buttons are more of a black tortoiseshell rather than the camel. And again, like an all black outfit would look lovely under there. Even a full grey tracksuit. I'm a fan of a formal coat with a tracksuit underneath. I think it is such a vibe. I actually got this one in a size eight because they didn't have it in stock in a 10. Um, but I'll be honest, the fit is exactly the same. I don't notice any difference, so don't really worry about sizing. Um, and yeah, again, just a wardrobe staple I feel that I know I'm going to get 
so much wear off. Okay, the third coat I'm gonna show you is this leather jacket. Now this is so heavy, I actually don't think I can hold it up. The quality of this is just next level. It is so thick, so heavy, and just looks so expensive in my opinion. So I got this in a size 10, and it is 114 pound in the sale on ASOS. Now, I know that is quite expensive, however, for a coat and something of this quality, which I feel like this is just gonna come with me year on year, it's something I'm gonna pull out my wardrobe a lot. I feel like it is worth the money. Um, when I've shopped around for oversized leather jackets or leather jackets in general, they are pricey, especially for the oversized biker fit. Um, so I really don't think that is too bad. It's got the nice long strap at the bottom. It is so big. It literally goes like past my bum, which is exactly what I wanted. Um, weirdly enough, I really like wearing stuff like this with gym clothes underneath. It's, I don't know if that's weird, but I love the look of black gym leggings, like a black half zip top, and then an oversized biker jacket. I just feel like it's that cool biker just popped out, got my gym stuff on, threw my jacket on vibe, which I'm here for. Um, and although it says black on the website, in my opinion, it's kind of like a navy blue. I don't know if what it looks like on camera, but it's definitely not black black. Like my top is black. It's like more like a bluey gray. Um, but I just absolutely love this. I know I'm going to get so much wear out of it. I feel like everything, I just love a hoodie undercoat. So even with this, I'm thinking like a black hoodie, black joggers, then this. Um, but equally this styled up with like some leather leggings and some heel boots for a full leather look or even like a fitted black jumper dress and tights I just think a leather jacket does look really put together but also cool okay next up we have got a black staple coat however a bit more on the formal side this one has these gorgeous little like shoulder things I don't know what they're called and it comes with a big belt with a buckle i loved this on the model um you can see the buckle there on the model she had it done up with the buckle through and like threaded right around and it just looked so parisian like that type of vibe and i just thought it looked stunning to be honest i've got a slouchy black coat which i'm going to show you but for more formal looks i just thought this was gorge i got it in a size eight and it was 70 pounds which i think for a formal black coat is really really reasonable and it's actually really warm and thick as well i wore this with a black turtleneck underneath and some mom jeans and it really did keep me warm it looked cool with some black chunky boots to dress it down a little bit and i love the huge buttons on it i just think it looks very vintage it looks like you would have got it a really old vintage shop or it's been handed down here it just i just think it looks amazing on i've seen quite a lot of people size up a lot in this so it looks really really oversized however i did stay true to size and get an eight whereas some things i get a 10 in coats and this is still so oversized so if anything size down in this it's got the shoulder pads which gives you a bit of a boxy masculine fit and yeah i just what more can i say i absolutely bloody love this okay sticking to the theme of black coats the slouchy one i was talking about is this black one which i only picked up last week from zara this was actually in the sale and it was down from oh i can't even see what the sticker says under there Sure, it was meant to be like 80 quid down to 39.99 which i thought was a bargain. and i actually got this in an extra large so i ordered it online and i was thinking is that going to be too big or is it going to look cool and thankfully i really like it it doesn't look like an extra large at all bearing in mind i'm usually an 8 slash 10 um it's just that nice oversized drop shoulder it's got big pockets and it comes with a belt so you can cinch in your waist um i got this because i just felt like i needed a black classic coat you know I'm saying that about every coat, but listen, you need a coat for every occasion in my opinion, okay? And the thing is with these, a lot of these coats I will keep for years on years. They will come with me season to season, well, not, not season to season as such, not in the summer, but they'll come with me every year. I have coats in my wardrobe upstairs that I've had for three years and I still wear to death. Um, I am very specific with buying things that I know I'm actually gonna get a lot of wear out of and everything that I've shown you so far, I know I'm gonna get so much wear out of. They're not very out there, they're just like staple key colors, key basic pieces. Um, but this, I haven't got a slouchy black coat. I wanted something I could just throw on if I was popping in the shop, so I was just running out somewhere. Um, and that would just go nicely on top of everything, whether it be hoodies, anything formal, jumpers, anything. It's got the nice lapel front. And like I said, this is just something that I know I'm gonna get so much wear out of. And you're probably going to see a lot of over my Instagram. What I like about this is that it's not super thick. Like I feel like I'll be able to wear this with the layers underneath. And not be restricted when my pet hates with coats. Is when you've got jumpers on underneath. And you can't move your arms higher than that. And you're like 
feel and have a really bad back pain and you feel like you can't move this is like quite thin so I feel like it'll be really good for layering and it'll take you into autumn as well um, when it's maybe not as cold and yeah really really nice okay I have most definitely saved the best to last I can't physically tell you how obsessed I am with this coat and I never knew I needed a coat like this so much in my whole entire life it is this leather camel long belted beauty of a coat this is honestly my favorite coat in my whole collection it has took over any of my previous coats and I am absolutely obsessed with it. The quality of this, it's so heavy, it's so thick, it looks so expensive. The way that you tie your waist in with it when it's on just makes it look gorgeous. I wore it with black um, like ribbed leggings from the Contour collection from Zara and an oversized black hoodie. And this on top just made it look so glam. I can't, I, I just can't even tell you, I'm obsessed with it. I got it in a size eight and it was 85 pound. I love the leather and camel detail, I just think it looks so different, I've never seen anything like this before and like I said I didn't know how much I needed a colour like this until this thing came into my life, I just think I'm going to wear this so much. Jordan was like, Dion, why are you getting so many coats, you don't need them and I was like, first of all take your negative energy elsewhere, second of all yes I do, I will wear each of these on a different day of the week even if it is to run to Aldi or put Peril in the car. I am obsessed with this. I feel like this would look so nice with some black chunky biker boots, a black beanie, um, and then just bringing out the camel details. I just, oh my god. I, I know I keep saying I'm obsessed, but I am genuinely just obsessed with this. It is my favourite thing of 2021 so far. So yeah, that is everything guys. That is my new current coats of the season. As I said, everything will be linked down below in the description. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to give it a like, comment and subscribe as that would mean the world to me. And as always, I will see you in the next one. Bye.